Hey guys, Kevin here, and as you can see, I'm sitting at my computer, my workstation, my battle station, whatever you want to call it. I got this monitor last week and I did an unboxing for it, and I know you guys are keen to see the full review. A few of you asked when the full review was coming, but I didn't want to rush in and do the review. I want to spend a little bit of time with the monitor. I want to, I want to get some time, you know, spend some time actually just getting used to what is the best way to use it. And... I think for a lot of people that's the interesting part because they want to know what it's like going from a regular setup or you know whatever setup you've got before to an ultra wide. So I just thought I'd talk about that in this video and you know just kind of talk about my thoughts about using it. Now you can see here I've got my PC at the side here. I've got the monitor here. It is the 34 inch Samsung uh, quantum dot display monitor. It's a uh, 1440p resolution 34. 40 by 1440p and I've got it at the native resolution. You can change the re resolution, of course you can, but I've got it at the native resolution and it seems okay. I have found that, you know, because of the distance I am, you know, from here to there, for most things the native resolution is fine, but occasionally I have found myself increasing the zoom on my browser to like 110%, 120%, just so that the writing is a little bit higher. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see, obviously the white is kind of reflecting back. Um, so you can't, you might not be able to see these screens so well. You probably actually can't see either. There's a there's a little sticker down, a little mark down the bottom. It says you need to activate Windows because I've got Windows Pro and CEX haven't sent me a valid license. And then I complained about it and eventually they sent me a Windows Home license. So until I get that resolved, that little annoying symbol is going to be there. Um, you know, you guys know what I had before. I had a 1080p monitor here. I had a television there. And then I had my laptop there. So I had three different screens. And right now, I've got one. So as a little bit of an adjustment, you know, there's different situations where this is great. And I think most situations is great. But you do have, obviously have to realize, you know, the 21.9 aspect ratio changes certain things. For example, gaming. This looks amazing in games. You know, 21.9 ratio looks great. But many games aren't optimized for that aspect ratio. So you might run into some problems. It's becoming more common now um, with popular games. But if not, you'd maybe have to run it in Windows mode. Um, it's the same with movies. You know, if you watch a movie, chances are it's 16 9 So you're going to get black borders at the side. But what I'm kind of mainly focusing though on is productivity. You know, gaming and movies aside, yes, I will be gaming some from time to time. I might watch the old YouTube clip, but I'll probably watch movies downstairs. But primarily this was bought for a productivity point of view. And as you can see here, I've got it kind of split into two windows. Now, this monitor came with a little app. It was called like Easy Box Settings or something. And it was to help you to, you know, manage windows. You can split the screen. The one provided by Samsung is terrible. Doesn't really work very well. It's, it's, you know, the windows never expand to where you want them to be. So I've started using Display Fusion. This is a, a free or premium app, but the free version is really good as well. And you can see right now, if I open up the split, um, where are we here? Okay, so I've got it just now set as 2 1. So two verticals. In fact, I'll clear it. I'll clear this first. Reset splits. Okay, let's start from scratch. So two one, and this is 1720 by 1440 on each side. I found that with the 34 inch screen, this is the best setup for me. So to um, to explain why, you know, I've got here. I've got the browser, and then I've got another browser. You know, another Google tab open here. This is my main website. I'm writing an article. I'm reviewing a theme. So I'm you know, checking all the information there and then writing it down. And then I've got my test area where I need to test things, you know, different parts of the article. And this works well. And the good thing is that when I open Photoshop, I'm expanding Photoshop to the full screen. Now you could, if I wanted to, I could just bring it over here and expand it and it would just go to one window. So now I've just got it on the right hand side. But I found that, you know, you can see there, you can put it in either side of the screen, a uh, one, 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 two. Um, I have found that, generally speaking, because I want a larger canvas area, it's just a little bit easier if I, you know, if I make Photoshop full screen. That's the way I prefer it, but it really is up to you 
how you do it. But it's pretty cool, you know, you can um, you can expand this and remove windows as you see fit. Now, ideally for what I do, as good as two screens are, I would actually like three if possible. If I could change to three, one, so that's three boxes of 1,146 by 1440. In theory, that should be the best situation for me. And if I expand this, you can see this here. So this is kind of how it works. I've not got a, a third, in fact, I could put Photoshop in, in the middle here to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is a three window setup. This is three vertical windows. The problem with this setup is, I'm not sure if it's coming through in the video, it's way too narrow. It really is too narrow uh, to the point where, yes, you could do it, but it, it's actually make me less productive because everything is squashed in. So I found that, um, you know, splitting it into two screens is the best setup for me. But it really is up to you. Now, a few people were saying that, is the monitor too big? But I actually, I honestly think I could have went bigger. A part of me wishes I went for the, the, 43, uh, the 38 inch LG widescreen. It would give me a little bit more real estate, vertically and horizontally. I also, also think that I might have, you know, there's a couple of 4K 43 inch monitors out there that, you know, the kind of, when you split them, into four different squares, it's like having four 21 inch 1080p monitors. So that's something, you know, I could have done as well. But for an ultra wide point of view, from a productivity point of view, sorry, it really does come down, down to how you set it up. Now, before, as I said, I had a 1080p monitor here, I had a television there, which I sometimes use as a monitor, and I had the laptop. Now, right away, I find it's, you know, a lot of people say, do you, do you move your head too much when you're using this? But I was coming from where I was looking at the laptop away to the side and the television was a little out the way as well. And I've found that this is ideal. Yes, I sometimes have to move, but I've positioned the television, kind of, eh, the, the television, the monitor, I've positioned the monitor a little bit away. A lot of people would have this a little bit closer. I put it a little bit back and, it, you know, I can pretty much see the whole screen in one take. And what I do is I kind of, focus on where I'm working the left hand side and then I just switch and I focus over there. Seems to work okay. Do I need another monitor? Maybe. And this is the thing I'm kind of messing around with. Um, I have found that, as I said, the, the split screen works the best and it kind of works out. It's kind of like having two monitors. Effectively, it's kind of like having two monitors, but you can as I said with Photoshop, you can increase it and use the full length of a monitor for certain apps. So for me, that's the best of both worlds. But in certain situations, for example, if I'm live streaming for you guys, if I'm playing a game, if I'm doing anything else, sometimes I would need a little bit more real estate and that's where an additional monitor at the side would come in handy. Now, one of the questions I think a lot of people are interested in is when you come from a, a multi-monitor situation, to an ultra wide, you know, what's it like? And it, it's hard to comment. I looked at a lot of comments from other people. A lot of people went from three monitors to an ultra wide and they said they would never go back. A, a lot of other people went to an ultra wide and they said that they just couldn't do it and they went back to using a multiple monitor uh, setup. I can understand why people feel that way. You know, it really does come down to how you work and how you set it up. I think apps like Display Fusion really do help you adjust to the ultra wide and allow you to split the screen and get the most from it. Um, but it really does depend on what you're doing. I think for me moving forward, I'm I'm kind of focusing simply on the one monitor just now, but moving forward, I would like an additional screen just so that for in certain situations, I could put another browser window over there. I'm essentially got two windows here. It'd be good to have another one over there. I could put some other things like Photoshop or, you know, file transfers or, you know, coding or something. Um, but this, it does depend on what monitor you're using. The The spare monitor that I've got is 1080p. It's a different resolution. And, and I find that sometimes when you're going from one monitor to a different monitor with a different resolution, some things don't work well. For example, the app is small and it goes there, it's large or vice versa. So, in an ideal situation, if I was getting another monitor, 
it would be a 1440p monitor. But I don't know. I, th I like the idea of keeping it all in one monitor, but I do need to find a workaround. So there, it is a work in progress, but I do think that down the line I might look into adding another monitor. But whether, you know, if you're coming from a multi-monitor situation, whether an ultra-wide is better for you, I think you really do need to, if you can, go into a store and test it out for yourself. You really do need to kind of spend time with it and get an idea of what apps you're using and then get an idea of how you would manage those when you've only got one screen. For someone that's coming from an individual monitor, like say you've got a 24-inch or a 27-inch monitor, I think jumping to an ultra-wide is going to give you a lot more real estate. It's going to give you a lot more pixels to work with. And I think in general, most people, you know, going from a single monitor situation or even a dual monitor, I think they'll be a lot more product productive with the, the ultra-wide. comes down to the apps and stuff that you're using. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that Mainly, I was focusing most of my attention before on the one 1080p monitor, and now I've got this, you know, I went from 16.9 to um, 21.9, and I've got the higher resolution, I've got 1440p, and I feel that I'm more productive now. I'm not saying I'm, you know, twice as productive, but I do feel that I'm getting a lot more done, I'm getting things done a little bit quicker, but it all comes down to how you set it up. I will speak about this more in the future, guys. And if you've got any questions about using all this, please let me know. I know I have focused on productivity. Um, you know, gaming, I don't think, is a big problem. I think most people say that from a gaming point of view, if you can get the game in 21.9, you know, the aspect ratio, that it looks amazing. I've, you know, I've, I've just been messing around with the games. I've been looking at a lot of demos, and it looks so good on this large screen. Uh, and it's the same with movies. Most movies are in 16.9, so I don't think it's the best uh, in every situation like that. But from a productivity point of view, having one large screen makes a lot of sense. And my only criticism against myself would be that I could have went larger. I honestly think I could have got a screen that spanned my whole desk, like the 38-inch LG, and I think I would have became accustomed to it. But there's a lot, there's all so many factors to take into consideration, guys, as far as where your monitor is situated, as far as from you, from your keyboard. You know, a lot of people, you know, their keyboard would be there and they'd be sitting there. It's a little bit different for me. I've, I've pulled back a little bit so I can see the full screen um, at, at once. But I will explore this issue in more detail, guys. I will be playing around with this more. I am looking at different stands. I'm going to play around with seeing how I can accommodate my other monitor and TV, seeing if it's necessary or see if it's overkill. And yeah, I just, I just, I think a little bit more real estate would be handy, which is why I'm thinking another monitor would be good. So thanks for watching, guys. If you get any questions, please let me know. But if any of you guys are out there and you're thinking about moving from a single monitor or a multiple monitor uh, set up to an ultra wide, then hopefully I've help point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, take care.